Hi everybody, this is Vasu DJ. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about deductive method of teaching mathematics. Now what is deductive method? Deductive method is based on deductive reasoning. Deductive reasoning is the process of drawing logical inferences from established facts or fundamental assumptions. Contrary to inductive method. In deductive method, we begin with the formula or rule or generalization and apply it to particular case. So, in inductive method, first we have to take the example, then formula. Here, reverse of that. So, formula or any statement we will take, then come to generalization. <coughs> in this method, the teacher presents the known facts or generalization and draws inferences regarding the unknown following a network of reasoning. So, this is what deductive method. So, therefore, deductive method process proceeds from general rule to specific instances, unknown rule to known case, abstract rule to concrete instance, complex rule to simple example. So here an example, the formula to find simple interest. So simple interest is equal to principal, rate and time 100. So we are to work 100. So by to find the, the simple interest, so student will take directly the formula then find the simple interest. So no need to prove this simple interest. Directly they will take. So this type of method that is directive method of teaching. <coughs> now let us see what are steps in directive method. So directive method of teaching following steps given below for effective teaching. First clear recognition of the problem. First they will see the problem. Then search for tentative hypothesis. How we can solve the problem? What type of the problem? Formulation of tentative hypothesis. Which formula we can use? So, they will search for the formula and they will verify, after that, they will verify the result. So, these are the steps. Now, what are the merits of deductive method? This method is short and time saving. The solution of the problem by pre-established formula takes little time. So, it will take directly the formula and find the answer for the problem. So, time saving, no need to find the or prove the any theorem or find the formula one again. It encourages memory as the students have to memorize a considerable number of formula. It encourages the memory. The students will memorize so they are able to memorize for few number of formula. This method is advantageous at the practice and revision stage. After teaching the concept while giving the drill work, student can uh, solve some problem that time the detective method is very useful. It enhances the speed and efficiency in solving problem. If they know the formula, so directly they can apply the formula and they find the solution for the problem. This removes the incompleteness and inadequacy of inductive method. In inductive method, up to finding the formula or up to define the some concept only it will stop but continuation is the detective method after finding the formula by using the formula the student will able to solve some problem by using the form uh, there is a continuation inductive detective method is continuation of inductive method these are the merits of detective method now what are the demerits of detective method this the beginners find it very difficult to understand abstract formulae if they are not acquainted with the number of concrete instances. So, so they will get confused that so very difficult to understand the formula directly. They cannot uh, re prove that or uh, regain that formula once again because they don't know that this method will re demand blind memorization of large number of formulae and this is will cause an unnecessary and heavy burden on the brain of children. So, if you do not remember the formula means you cannot solve the problem. 
so that that affects the minds or the burden on the brains of the children to remember uh, many formulas by the students in this method memory becomes more important than understanding and intelligence and that is educationally unsound so here we are giving importance to memory where memory test if you are if you having good memory you will get good mark and will be able to solve that problem is not educationally is uh, it is unsound brain cramming leads very often to forgetting the formula and children are at a loss to recollect this ultimately leads to no learning so if by hurting sometimes it is they will forget the formula means they cannot regain or recollect so ultimately leads to no learning without remembering the formula they cannot find the solution for the problem and this method is not suitable for development of thinking reasoning and discovery so these are the demerits of deductive method so one more concept inductive deductive method so what is inductive deductive method inductive and deductive methods go side by side induction and deductions are complementary inductive method leads to clear understanding and deduction method gives good follow up with these points as the essential idea explanation of any topic of the choice inductive method proceeds from particular to general and deductive method proceeds from general to particular as i told earlier so inductive method start with the example then come to the formula up to that inductive method then continuation of inductive method is the deductive method after they finding the formula the students will using the formula they will solve some problem to find the solution for the problem so that is continuation is there after finding the formula so if the student will uses the both this that is inductive method and deductive method totally we call it as inductive deductive method both are very important to get the solution now let us see what are steps of inductive deductive method so presentation of the example observation of the example generalization testing and verification presentation of the topic application of the formula inference verification so these are the steps of inductive deductive method totally example formula then example that is finding the solution for the problem so that is both together using it is called inductive deductive method thank you for watching if not yet subscribe my channel please subscribe